And that's what I'm talking about, baby! All right, Ray, how much damage you can do? Let's see this. Hey, that was over 100,000. All right, come on. That's got to finish you off. Oh, 231,000. There we go. Seer Junda is finally here in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and it gives me flashbacks to the good old days of Galaxy of Heroes, where we put a lot of random characters together, and we got a team we're kicking butt with. As a reminder, Seer Junda is the second requirement for the Cal Casa Survivor Journey event needed at Gear 12. And to be blunt, this is definitely the least impressive new character for 2023 so far, but the good news is there were some bugs. I think this character and team is going to be a lot better than what we originally anticipated and tested out. Fix your game, CG. And I like the fact that this character does have good low star, low gear viability to take advantage of. Three things you need to know. Number one, you need a full entire unaligned forest user team. And this is great because you're taking advantage of leftover unaligned forest users from the variety of legendary farms you've done that aren't getting a lot of love. I'm talking, for example, Scavenger Ray, Baby Kylo, and even things like Fulcrum Ahsoka Tano is the highlight of this team for me. And you need to make sure the team is full unaligned forest users because on her lead, you want to be slow because every single time until your team takes their first turn, all unaligned forces are going to get 5% critical chance, critical damage, and offense, and it stays there until the end of the battle. So what this is like, instead of just having a flat 30% offense type of thing or 40% critical damage like we see in some teams, this is a variable lead where it could change. It could be better or it could be worse compared to those leads. Seems like on average, at best, you're probably gonna get the enemy team to take five turns before you. If the enemy team takes five turns before you take your first turn, that's gonna be 25% extra offense, critical damage. However, there was a bit of a bug and this team's actually gonna perform better than my initial testing, we got a small teaser on how the Omicron's gonna work. There's a bug right now in game where you can use some Omicrons outside of their designated areas, which should be that way, at least in squad arena. We got to test out the lead Omicron on Rekindled, and we saw the ability block in Day's immunity. The rest of the Omicron was not working, so we didn't get to see the extra max health protection gains, the protection up, and more importantly, the bonus offense increases. With this Omicron, you're getting a 10% additional critical chance, critical damage offense for each turn an enemy takes before your first turn. So in that example of an enemy team taking five turns before you do, with the Omicron, that's going to be 75% extra offense and critical damage, which we didn't get to appreciate. And kind of as a small side note, with point number two, every time you're being hit, you're gaining turn meter, 5% turn meter, that is. You want this team to be slow, but you luckily have turn meter passive to keep you going, and days on that Omicron is not going to prevent that. So the main gist of this team is you don't need to worry about speed mods, which I think is crazy. We, we're so focused on speed. It's nice having a team where you can just put your leftovers mods that might not have a lot of good speed. I'm liking that. Leftover characters that are unused, leftover mods that are unappreciated on a team, I can't be mad at that. The third thing, and arguably probably the most exciting thing about Siradunda, she's kind of like Captain Rex, where she has an aerial assault type of ability, but here it's called Determined Assault. Sort of like Captain Rex, she can do bonus damage to a target enemy's max health. And even at low stars, low gear, she often carried the battle when things weren't going well for me. She's taking leftover characters, turning them into a usable team. That is great. I want to emphasize you do not need fast mods on Seer Junda and the team itself. You want to focus on damage, for example, on Ahsoka Tana Fulcrum Scavenger Ray, and you want to focus on survivability on things like Seer Junda and Cal Kestis. We're focusing more on the Grand Arena aspect, but keep in mind, I think this is going to be decent in Territory Wars too. Seer Junda has an Omicron for Grand Arena, Cal Kestis has a Territory war omicron which turns on ahsoka tano fulcrum's omicron to be used on this team this might be good in conquest as well as rise of the empire where enemy teams are often preloaded with lots of speed and turn meter what i didn't like about this team is that it feels like a catch 22. If you are too slow and you get, let's say, dazed or shocked and you can't get turn meter, you're sitting there ramping, which is great, but you can get rolled over and then you don't do anything. But if you go too quickly and you take your first turn, and let's say you took a turn after the first enemy turn, you don't get any more ramping. I love how this makes you feel like the old school 2015 Galaxy of Heroes. And I love leftover mods, leftover characters being used to create a team that didn't exist before. I have a feeling there's a lot more to anticipate in the future, but in the meantime, enjoy those leftover characters. Let's go roll some gameplay show all the fun we had with Seer Junda. All right, you know what? I'm going to clean up Seer Junda here to get that daze off her. I, you know, now that I'm looking at this, if I'm using this team yet, yeah, I need the anti-daze. 
All right, wow, super durable. Like right now, the troopers, they're rolling a turn meter train. All right, now remember, our damage should be ramping up. Every time they're hitting us and all that other stuff, we're ramping up right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Liberty, liberty, liberty. I'm not getting a lot of turns. All right, Sierra Juna should be stepping in here soon. All right, so we should have a big hit, I presume, right now. Okay, here we go. Oh! Ow! Damn, boy! For each turn, enemy. oh, this should be good. This should be good right here, right? I think I should be able to yeet him out. Let's go. It was, I mean, 68,000 for gear 11 is not trash, right? I mean, let's look at this. We, we're, there we go, 50,000 damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go, I don't know, on Veers right now. 70,000 on a basic. Holy moly, Mazda Choli, y'all. That's a lot of damage. 70,000 on a basic. Holy cow. All right. All right, that did something. Okay. We're almost at 30, 30 stacks, so Cal's unique abilities can do some nasty stuff. All right, Ray, how much damage are you going to do? Let's see this. Hey, hey that was over 100,000 combined. That ain't bad, Chief. Lots of buffs for Ahsoka Tano Fulcrum. Here we go. Oh, wow. Went from four to one stack. Nicely done. And let's see what this looks like. What, uh, guys, can we just appreciate something for a moment? I'm leaving this battle. Like, everyone, like, has full banners right now. Three, that wasn't too much to brag about. And there we go. Wow. 79,000 damage! Oh, uh, yeah. So we're not ramping anymore. I mean, boy, that's some good damage still. Let's not underestimate. 85,000 from uh, Ray. Not bad. Can I just, like, tear through Larry here? Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Ho, ho, ho! All right. Will this hurt? Let's go. Come on. Uh, how much damage was that? They're still sticking around. Where is this game breaking damage? 78. They, they, they made it sound like they, they said the game was like crashing. All right. Stick rate coming in. Let's see. With the one, two. Let's see if we can tear this one open. Hey, Fulcrum Ahsoka, man. She's popping. So far, Fulcrum has been kind of the highlight of this team, I feel like. 50, I mean, even Stick Ray, 58,000 on a basic. And Stick Ray, 100,000 damage. All right, so. Okay, so far. Okay, so it's been a couple turns. All right, so what was that? Three turns? So, it was the ramping enough for Fulcrum to do her thing. Let's go. Oh, not quite enough yet. Crit damage up. Where's the money, honey? Mm, yeah, not enough time to ramp. Like that Imperial True Veil we did at the beginning with like 70,000 basic was great. Damage immunity over there. Okay, let's go. You know, just get rid of the Wookiee. Oh my gosh, still not enough. That is one thick Wookiee, man. All right, come on. No, no, no. Uh, all right, come on. That's got to finish him off. Oh, 231,000. There we go. Looks like we're going to pull out of this one. All right, come on. I think it's going to be all about Sierra Junda. Do it again, girl. Foo, foo. There we go. All right, here we go. That's get rid of Han. And there you go. There you go. Right away. All right. Let's check this out. Okay. That's one turn. Two turns. Three turns. Four turns. We're holding in there. All right. So we got four turns of ramp. All right. All right. So this should maybe hurt. I don't know. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> I don't know. Put it on auto. Maybe they'll figure it out. Could be like Reva where it plays better on auto than manually. Boy, a lot of debuffs, Cal. You need, we need you, bud. Hey, there's Sir Junda. Coming out of the 300,000 hit. There we go. So now I feel like we can start making some progress here. That was not me. Ooh. Boom. That's honestly the best highlight. It's a Captain Rex ability. Uh, let me see how we get. So we, I don't know if we have four tanks, but so far it's just coming down to Sierra Junda carrying it here. Yeah, CJC, Sierra Junda carry. All right, hold on. Here we go. Boom, that one's gone. Over there, say like, look at that. Hey, we beat an Inquisitor team. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to see if I can remove the turn meter on Rex. Let's do that first. All right, there we go. Good start. Let's see if she'll get another turn. There we go. 
Nicely done. Okay, now we got everything in our control. Star Killer does not assist, unfortunately. Drop down some stuns. That's great. All right, Star Killer, let's hit him with that. Nicely done. 30 stacks. Let's just go drop some stuns over there. All right, easy on the damage on the other guys. Just do basic, basic. Oof, that's a problem. I'm probably gonna hit the sacrifice by accident. Hey, or not. Wow, Sir Junda did a lot of good stuff here. The problem with Sir Junda, her kit's really based off the enemy taking more turns than you. So far, we're, we, we outdid him. You know, 10 to 1. We took 10 turns for the one turn they took. Yeah, like, see, look, I think I think this is actually something really important to point out. She's likely never going to use that ability. Never, ever, ever, ever going to use that ability if she's not on a slow team. This is not a slow team. This is a high turn meter engine team that we got here. She's not, if she can't do the insta kill, it's like, eh, you're not really doing much there. Yeah. Big plays! I want like a ton of ramp without being in the grave. Here we go. Crank up the sun. Maybe they need somewhere high. All right, that's one. All right, we're done ramping. <laughs> Let's, you know, I'm just gonna tear through these B1s, right? Let's go for it. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. You know, we're gonna save it. I'm gonna wait for, I'm gonna use that in a bit. We should be able to handle this. Good, come on. All right. All right, they're gone. All right, let's get this B2 out of here in three, two, one. Clamp the healing immunity. All right. Okay. Here we go. Was that enough? Hey, how much was that? Holy cow. You know, that, that's the highlight of Revo. Just when she can use that ability, it feels good. Feels good. All right. So, you know, you know maybe it's just meant to be kind of like a... Uh, one of those weird middle of the rung team. It could just be a C grade team right now. I don't know. Yeah. All right, let's go over here. Yeah, we're going to redo this battle. All right, big hit. Nice. Whoa! Yeah. All right, you know, I'm going for it. Actually, go for best Garmando. Three, two, one. Send it! That's not really good. You need a lot more turns to make things happen there. Uh, all right, you know, just keep going. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Let's do basic. I forgot you have like no damage. There we go. All right, best Garmando's out. Put it on auto. All right, we're looking good. Basic there. All right, Soka, you ready? Yeah, let's do it right now. Boom, 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 boom! There we go! We're going to have to dance with the devil here. That's going to be a little bit annoying. 52,000 fixing up Seer Junda. All right, big hit. And there you go. I mean, you know, that's just still a decent defensive team. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. I'm not going to waste this. Just do a basic for right now. Uh, let's go. Do I want to clean up anyone? Eh, just do this for right now. All right. Can't be evaded. All right. Let's go for dash. Three, two, one. Let's see. This is, this has to be good, right? Best Gar You know what? Let's go for best Garmando. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about, baby. Okay. Uh, big hit. Oh, that should get rid of you, right? Three, two, one. 90 see like look put a cherry on top 